to that deadly lion attack in California. We're learning a lot more about what happened to Diana Hansen right now, and ABC Cecilia Vega is in Los Angeles with the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning. When Diana Hansen was attacked, there may not even have been time for her to be scared. We now know that the lion broke free. Hansen had no time to escape. It now appears the 550 pound lion may have managed to escape his own feeding cage just moments before turning on 24 year old intern Diana Hansen. One of the lead investigators now tells ABC News he believes a gator door was left partially open. Couscous somehow got into a larger pen that Hansen was cleaning, and that's when she was attacked. The cat had just been fed and there was food in the bowl, but the cat ignored the food in order to go out and have access to this young lady. This morning, a first look inside the Cat Haven Wildlife Park where the lion mauled Hansen. <coughs> and new details about what happened during the attack. For a bite from a lion, the animal is in the enclosure with the patient. Hansen was reportedly talking on her cell phone with a coworker at the time of the incident when the call abruptly ended, suggesting she may have been completely caught off guard by the lion. The coworker grew concerned when Hansen failed to call back. Officials now believe Hansen died almost instantly from a broken neck. She did not suffer. Come say hi. On Thursday, the park's owner paid a visit to the grounds where it all happened. We're a family and we lost family members. Hansen had worked at the park for just two months, hoping it would lead to a job at a bigger zoo. Diana died living her dream. Her family says her final moments remain a mystery. She would never be in there with the lion present. And how that happened, I don't know. So many questions still. Now, investigators are looking into what caused this lion to turn on Hansen. A necropsy has been performed, George. No results just yet.